everybody and welcome back to my channel. Well, the Sephora sale for the spring of 2019 is nearing. I will list all the information uh, about the Sephora VIB sale for the spring down below in the description box if you have any questions. But today I thought that I would share with you my wish list and some of my recommendations for the sale. And um, if you guys like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. That way you can be notified each time I post a new video. So let's get into the video. Let me tell you a first a few things that I am wanting to pick up at the sale. I'm not sure I'm gonna necessarily get all these things, but for sure these are the things that I am interested in getting. And um, then I'll share some of the things that I recommend, just things that I've used over and over again or have been enjoy enjoying a lot recently. Um, so the first thing that I'm interested in getting this is gonna seem so random. I'm gonna throw a picture up of it on the screen. It is a Christian Dior blush that is actually like red in tone. And it is called the Christian Dior blush in the color 999. The reason that I'm interested in this blush is because I saw it at Sephora and I swatched it. And it's this beautiful blue red blush that has like a little bit of a pearl sheen to it. Excuse the traffic that you can hear behind me. That is crazy. Like the traffic from the highway right now is just out of this world. I don't know why. But anyway, it's the most beautiful red blush. And what it reminded me of when I saw it was the type of blush that they would put on like princesses if you were watching like a movie that portrayed some kind of a princess. It was just, it looked like it was going to be like the rosiest, most beautiful red if used with a light hand. And I'm very curious to try it. I have never tried a red blush, like actually red. Um, and so I'm very interested in picking that up. I am also interested in picking up the Laneige Lip Glow. These are the lip balms that come in like a little tube. I will throw it up on the screen. Um, and they have several flavors like berry, pear, um, grapefruit and something else, but apparently they got great reviews. I love the Laneige sleeping mask. I highly recommend that for the sale. If you have never tried it, the Laneige sleeping mask is great. Like it is just so moisturizing. And if you live in a cold climate, it will make your lips feel so moisturized. It lasts all night. It doesn't cause that cycle of needing more and more like Carmex or something like Carmex will do. It just is a wonderful, um, sleeping mask for your lips. The next thing that I'm interested in trying is a NARS blush and it's a limited edition blush called the Mosaic Multi-Shade Highlighter and Blush. It is this beautiful blush that's got like this peach strip in the center with a little highlighter on top and a bronzer in the bottom and I think that if you swirled your brush in that, I don't know why you guys, it just looks like the most beautiful summer color and I am like having an obsession with blushes right now. I don't know why, it doesn't make sense, but I'm just like, feeling like a blush order right now. And I really wanna try this blush and it's $42. So, I mean, it does come in a really big pan and it is NARS, but I'm very, very excited about this blush and I really wanna try it. The next thing that I have on my list is a replacement bottle of my um, Beauty Blender cleanser. I am out of it. I use it all the time to clean my beauty sponges and my um, brushes and I love it and I'm out. And then lastly, I am like at the bottom of my Flora Botanica bottle. Um, if you can't see it, like I'm up here. I bought this like maybe December a year ago and I love it. It's my most favorite perfume and I'm pretty close to running out and I don't want to pay full price because the big bottle, this size is near like $140. So I definitely want to get the 20% off of that. So I'm thinking of replacing that. Those are really the only things that I'm really, really excited to pick up in the sale. And the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is just a few things that I've really, really been enjoying and loving and think you should consider looking at if you are looking to buy anything at the sale. Of course, as I always say, if you don't want to buy anything or you, you aren't actively wanting anything, don't just buy something because it's a sale. Only buy something that you've been thinking about you know, buying something that you need to restock in your collection or just something that really, really excites you. So um, the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is the Jouer blushes. I absolutely love them. I am wearing the Jouer blush from the bouquet, the blush bouquet um, palette on my face right now. And I am wearing the color Kiss Me on my cheeks right now. And you see it comes with just a beautiful array of blushes, this neutral brown, this bright pink, this berry color, more of a rosy pink, a brownie, mauvey pink, and then this orange color. This is really the only color that I'm not a huge fan of in the palette. I don't, I don't think that oranges really suit my skin tone. Um, but look at how pretty this one looks on my cheeks, you guys. Like it's just like gives this beautiful, youthful, pinky look. So I'm really, really I've been enjoying this palette for several months. And the other thing that you guys have heard me talk about on my channel several times 
is the blush bouquet in the shade um, Adore Me and Hold Me, the Adore Blush Duo. And that is these two shades. Let me look really quick in the little palette and see if, I know one of these shades is in here. Is it? Yes, Adore Me is in here. So let me hold the two things up for you together. So you see before I blind you guys that the two colors that match are the one on the lower right of the six pan palette and then the one that is on right here in the two pan palette. Those are the same. So you will get one repeat blush if you do already own the Adore Me Little Dual blush if you get the palette. But they're just, this is such a good deal if you like a lot of the different colors because it's less expensive to buy the palette than it is several of these little blush duos. Um, the next thing I wanted to share with you guys enough talk about blushes. The next thing I wanted to share with you guys is this uh, Too Faced bronzer. This is just a replacement for me. I had bought, you know, the Milk Chocolate, I think it is. Yeah, the Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer many years ago. I use it every day. I love this bronzer. If you have fair skin, it's like a perfect matte bronzer. It is not too orange. It just takes away that like really white pasty look to your face and just gives your face a little bit of color after you put your foundation on or your BB cream or CC cream or whatever you're wearing to give you just a little bit of a glow. And I love, love, love the formula of this. It's just a basic, it's just a staple, but if you've never tried it, it is a great bronzer. Um, the next thing I wanted to mention that I love that I think is worth the splurge in the sale is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder by Charlotte Tilbury. This is really the only product that I was really excited to try by Charlotte Tilbury. I had gotten one lipstick that I didn't really love and so I wasn't that excited about many of her other products but I did pick this up because so many people were raving about it and I absolutely love it. Apparently it runs out very fast but I think it is such a gorgeous setting powder. I notice at the end of the day that my skin still looks lovely. I mean, not if I've like been running around and I'm sweating, but if it's been just a regular day, I notice even at the end of the day that my skin is so, so pretty when I have this on. I just think it's a beautiful powder and I do think it's worth the splurge where I don't think some of the other Charlotte Tilbury things that I've tried are worth the splurge. I feel like this powder is the exception to that rule. Next, if you were looking for a Pat McGrath thing, I know Pat, Pat McGrath is still like very popular. People are really wanting to try things. I think one of the best palettes is this uh, Mothership Subliminal Platinum Bronze. The reason I like this palette is all the colors are wearable. It is not a complete palette in and of itself. Like this is not something you could wear alone. You need to, a base color, you need a transition color, but every shade in here is beautiful and wearable and it is what I am wearing on my eyes. Um, they blend beautifully. They have gorgeous pigment and I just my view is that this is the most wearable of all of her palettes The other ones are very edit like editorial in nature and some people that just don't wear those bright colors may find it difficult to wear a lot of the eyeshadows in the Pat McGrath palettes Let me turn off my phone because like it's just going off incessantly but anyway, so for the people that don't want to wear the bright colors in the editorial Pat McGrath palettes. This is an awesome, awesome option if you want to try a Pat McGrath palette. Okay, next. Green is all the rage right now. You guys know that we're seeing green coming out like from every single brand. And several months ago, probably November, December, around the last Sephora sale, I posted a video about a wearable green tutorial on your eyes. I will throw that up in the cards here. And I think that if you are interested in getting the most beautiful green palette to just play with colors for a relatively affordable price, I think that this theory, this Viseart Theory palette in the color Absinthe is the most gorgeous wearable green palette. I have seen so many different green palettes and I feel like they are good, but I don't think that the color situation is as easy to use for just an everyday person as this one is. This one is gorgeous. You have got like a base color, some transition colors. You've got a beautiful gold that looks amazing with both greens. This is gorgeous for the outer V. This is gorgeous for the lid. I just think that if you're looking to dabble in a wearable green little palette that's like workable and easy, think about getting this palette. It is so, so pretty. And you will see in that tutorial that I did like how wearable the look really is. And like, you don't look like you, you know, just popped out of like 1972. So. Next, I wanted to share with you the Dior highlighters. This is such a splurge, you guys, but I bought this Dior highlighter. This is actually was like a limited edition, hollow pink. This was a recommendation by Mel Thompson. But this 
is so beautiful. I actually did forget something I wanted to tell you. I do want on my wish list another shade of this highlighter and it's in the shade Nude. But these Dior, I'm like blinding you guys, these Dior Nude highlighters are so gorgeous. This is what I'm wearing on my cheeks now. I don't know if you can really pick it up, but it is, they are so pretty and so natural and so creamy and they have such a beautiful consistency and they're just so luxe. Like the packaging is so beautiful. I really love them. So if you're looking to splurge on just a gorgeous highlighter, check out the Dior ones. I think that the Nude Glow, I think that's what it's called. It's like the lightest champagne color is so, 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 so pretty. So I may splurge on that in the sale. The next thing I wanted to talk about real quick that nobody ever, ever talks about are the Bobbi Brown, these like Bobbi Brown powders that kind of come they have like four little shades. This is like a finishing powder, you guys, but it leaves the most gorgeous finish on your skin. Like I said, nobody talks about these, but they're so good. I absolutely love this one. It's got the purples and pinks, but they have ones in like with all different shades for different skin tones. And I think it's the most gorgeous finishing powder, or if you're like me and you just like to set your face with a finishing powder, just because it gives you a little bit of like a luminous glow if you're wearing a matte foundation. This powder is highly underrated. It is beautiful. It makes your skin look polished and finished. It definitely minimizes pore, pores. It gives you that kind of ethereal look that the hourglass um, veil powders give you. It's just a beautiful, beautiful powder that nobody talks about. Sorry, I know this is blinding you guys. Um, two or three more things. The first thing is this Becca what is this called? Anti-fatigue under eye primer. When I first saw this come out, I thought it was gimmicky, but I have to recommend it to you guys because I really do feel like my concealer goes on better when I have this on first. It's a primer, but it does have a little bit of caffeine in it. I do think that it decreases the darkness under my eyes, which there is always a lot. And I think that it helps with the little bitty wrinkles, like with, it helps to prevent my concealer from sitting into the little bitty wrinkle, wrinkles that are in the corner of my eye right here. So I really like this product. I've had it since I think the last VIB sale and I've really enjoyed using it. I like it a lot. So if you're like on the fence about that, it's something that you may want to try. And then lastly, I wanted to share with you my favorite high-end lipstick, which is a NARS Audacious Lipstick in the shade Raquel. It is what I'm wearing on my lips. Love, love, love this shade. I don't usually feel like like splurging on expensive lipsticks is warranted, but I do love this shade. And if you are looking to like splurge on just a beautiful everyday perfect lipstick for spring and summer, summer that's like got a nude feel, this is it. It's so gorgeous. I think this is a better shade than Charlotte Tilbury Bitch Perfect, which is kind of that peachy, um, kind of healthy, summery, springy look. Um, I like this one better. So this is the shade and I just love it. I just, I don't think you can go wrong with this if you have anything near my skin tone. So one of my favorite lipsticks of all time, for sure. And then one last lipstick to share with you guys that's kind of in between high-end and drugstore, which is the Clinique lipstick in the shade 09 in real life. This, I have been wearing this shade like every single day to work. I love it. I think it is a great nude color. Let me put it on my hand. It is just a gorgeous, it's in real life, it is much lighter and less peachy than the NARS Audacious and Raquel, but it's just a gorgeous everyday nude lipstick and I've been wearing it literally every single day since I got it. I love it. I think it is such a great color. These Clinique lipsticks, they come in beautiful packaging and I just think that they're very comfortable. They're moisturizing. This is like a satin finish lipstick and they're really reasonable. They're like in the $17 range. So I feel like with the 20% off coupon, if there's a color you wanna try, I have four or five of these. I really, really like them. Um, it's a really good price point. So check them out if you have any interest. They have like a little moisturizing center in them. I don't know if you guys can pick that up on camera, but this is like the new formulation of the Clinique lipsticks. They have this little moisturizing center and they are, they're super comfortable and I've really been enjoying them. So you guys, that is my wish list and some of my recommendations, um, of things that you may wanna check out at the sale if you are looking for recommendations. And I hope that you guys found that interesting or useful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Happy shopping everybody, bye.